Jets showing a little bit of zone here. You might see some make-miss defense to try and change it up against Utah State. We played a minute and a half. Montana State up 3-0. Utah State with it. Merrill the shooter hasn't had a look yet. Got the definitive well on the arc. Instead, an open look on the right side for Ain. And that's a miss. And on the back foul on Kate that climbs on the back of Devin Kirby. Things going so far so good for Montana State. Yeah, boy, you see some fight in Devin Kirby. As a freshman there, I think he was wide-eyed and unsure of himself. You see a young man now who's got two years of college under his belt and the confidence of the coaching staff. 3-0 Montana State. Bobcats with it, 18-15 in the first. Daniels on the perimeter right. They spin it around the perimeter left to Frey. The junior point guard over the top of a Kirby screen gets double teamed. It goes up top to Daniels, lobs it in the paint to Kirby. Right-handed hook, in and out. Well, that's a good look for Kirby. It just didn't go down. Rebounded by the Aggies. Utah State in transition. Now a hand check foul on Daniels out front on the drive by Ainge. Stops things with 17.57 in the first half and Montana State up 3 0. Yeah, I really like that post move by Devin Kirby down there. Catches it against the big freshman. One dribble, big strong move, didn't fade it. Just rolls in and out. First foul on Daniels. Utah State has it after the whistle on the Bobcats. 17.45 in the first, 3 nothing Montana State. Entry into the post, it goes into Taylor. Outside pass to Miller, right side three, off the heel of the rim. Hall tips it off the backboard to himself, and Montana State gets it back. Montana State could make it a two-score lead early on. Hall a crossover on Merrill. Free throw line jumper off the left side, rebounded by Ainge. Nobody in there to board it for Montana State, drawing the ire of Brian Fish as Utah State comes back the other way. Merrill on the left perimeter, a nice drop-off pass to Keita. Shot block try by Blevins is called a foul. Got on the wrist of Keita. First foul on Blevins, a second on the Bobcats. Free throws for the Aggies. And that's where Kirby shows a little bit of his inexperience there. Mont or, uh, excuse me, Utah State gets in a pick-and-roll action. He's a little late recognizing it. That opens up the roll, and Kelgen Blevins almost got a clean block on that roll. Nemius Keita, the true freshman, spins the first free throw in there. True freshman out of Portugal was one for two at the foul line in their exhibition game on Thursday of last week. Played for Portugal in the FIBA under 20 European Championships and he was dominant in that tournament. Second free throw is a swish as well. Utah State on the board with a pair at the foul line. It's three to two Montana State, 17-17 in the first. Bobcats with a slow jogging dribble up the left sideline with Blevin. Guarded by Taylor, picks up his dribble, throws it left to Frey who brings it out to the top. A crossover dribbles with a left-hander, had a screen, had a little opening, didn't take it. Up top to Daniels, the point guard pulls on a three ball and it goes in. He's not known for his shooting ability, but he gets the Bobcats out to a 6-2 to two lead. Yeah, and he's not a guy you can give an open look now. He can shoot, it's just not his first thought. 16-49 and a half, counts up four, now a steal. A sloppy pass, an inside-out look from McKay to the Miller is picked off by Frey. Montana State could add to its four-point advantage. And now here's a pass thrown out of bounds, Daniels. Trying to funnel it into Kirby. They got crossed up communication wise, it goes out of bounds. And Utah State making some big changes here, going really small. Obviously, feeling like the Bobcats' quickness and speed on the perimeter is causing them some issues. Tarion Knight, Dwayne Brown, and Diogo Brito in for the Aggies, along with Taylor and Merrill. So all the big men went out for Utah State. Aggies down 6 to 2 to Montana State, 16 28 in the first. Here's a drive by Brown, a kick out to Brito, got away with a step, throws it over left to Knight, into the paint, a little jump stop, a hop up off the backboard, and it hangs on the rim and falls in. Satari on ninth, the first field goal for Utah State, makes it 6-4 Bobcats at the other end, though a drive quickly, Frey out to Hall, right corner three is missed, and then a foul call on the rebound as Devin Kirby grabbed it. Utah State then grabbed him, it was Quinn Taylor getting a hold of Devin Kirby. Boy, first four minutes here, the number one thing that stands out to me is Devin Kirby's intensity and his competitiveness. He is out there battling, knowing that for this team to be successful, he's got to have a good go. 16-07 in the first half, 6-4 to four Montana State. Bobcats with it after the second foul on the Aggies. And now they get an illegal screen on Devin Kirby. It was up top, it was in full view of two officials, and it was an easy call. Yeah, and the young man's going to have some ups and downs. He's still a very, very young player, but you see potential, you see opportunity. He's going to have a good impact on this team. As we saw in the exhibition, Lossie Nickerin and the sixth man from Montana State, he subs in for Russell Daniels just ahead of the media timeout. 15-55 in the first, Cats up 6-4, Aggies with possession. 
in the blue uniforms in the front court. Brown a little Euro step on his way up. Tyler Hall gets called for a foul, trying to contest the shot. First foul on Hall, a couple of free throws for the Aggies when we come back. 15-48 in the first half, Montana State 6, Utah State 4. Impressions of the first four minutes. Yeah, I, I like what Montana State's doing defensively by changing defenses. They're keeping a Utah State team that's got a new staff and a new system off balance, trying to find their way. And they actually forced Utah State to make the first adjustment, which was to go to a smaller lineup. As we return, Utah State at the free throw line, a pair of shots coming for Dwayne Brown Jr. After the third Bobcat foul was called on Tyler Hall on a drive. And Brown makes the first of two to make it a one point game. And Ricketts checks in here for Harold Frey. So Montana State gets their junior college transfer, his first look. Brown, a 70% free throw shooter last season, makes them both to tie the game at six apiece. Utah State, four points at the free throw line, just one field goal. And now the Aggies show a little press out of the timeout. We're tied at six, 15 44 the first half. Montana State picks up the dribble in the backcourt. Now they get it across from Blevins to Nickerinen. Bobcats get into the half court set. At the top, here's a drive by Nick Rennan. Pins under the backboard to Blevins in the right corner. It's tipped up top to Ricketts. All on the left side with nine to shoot. Drives to the left block and a hand check on the way to the rim and called against Terion Knight. First foul on him, third on the Aggies and a baseline out of bounds for Montana State. Yeah, too bad that whistle was blown. Tyler Hall had an angle to the rim. He had a pretty easy layup at the end of the sequence there. We're tied at six, Montana State and Utah State on opening night, 15-26 in the first half. Nickerinen left to the basket, toss it in, gets it to Ricketts in the corner, gets a screen from Blevins, dribbles over it to the wing, now throws it to Nickerinen at the top. Back to Hall, left wing three, catch and shoot, fires off the left side, came to the rebound and fumbles away to Brown, and Utah State gets the board. Aggies can take their first lead. Merrill a shot fake and a drive, gets fouled by Nickerinen on his way in, and it'll be free throws for the Aggies once again after the knicker in and foul. Yeah, and of concern here is Utah State's been pretty aggressive on the offensive end, forced the Bobcats now to foul three times in shooting situations, five total team fouls, just 450 into this game. Merrill, the junior from Bountiful, Utah, an 85% foul shooter last season. On his way to a third team all Mountain West selection, makes the first one. And Utah State's in front for the first time, seven to six. Utah State with just one field goal thus far. Bobcats doing well when the ball's live, just gotta stop fouling. Second free throw by Merrill is in as well. Eight six, Utah State the lead, and now a foul called before the Bobcats could even get it in bounds. The second foul on Tarion Knight. First Interstate Bank is the official home of Bobcat Banking. Visit bobcatbanking.com to get your Bobcat checking account. Montana State against the press, gets it inbounds the hall on the sideline in the backcourt in front of the Montana State bench. Cats trail at 8-6 to six to Utah State, 15-03 in the first half. Hall brings it across midcourt by himself, a jump pass goes to Blevins on the right side. He attacks aggressively, gets it rejected, it's taken away by Keita. Here comes Maryland, Utah State. Usman Haruna in for the first time for Montana State, sprints back to play defense. On the right side, Knight misses a wing three, rebounded by Hall and the Cats. Hall pushes, throws it left, throws it away. Was trying to get it to Rick, it was taken away by Brito. He plays it in the front court to Knight, who goes up there and lays it in over the top of Nicarina. It's an 8-0 Utah State run. The Aggies lead it 10-6 with 14-29 in the first. The Bobcats haven't been able to convert a couple opportunities in transition, and that one led to a bucket the other direction. Bobcats have it down by four, their largest deficit thus far, 14-17 in the first. Nickerinen on the eyeball of the Cadet logo, painted near center court, goes over a Haruna screen, drives on the left block, throws it out, right corner three by Blevins, in and out and back in. It rattled home. Montana State breaks an 8-0 run, they get back to within a point at 10-9 in favor of Utah State at the 14-minute mark of the first. Kelgen Blevins going to be huge tonight because it forces Utah State to come out to the perimeter a little bit more spreads that floor and opens up the lane. So Brian Fish said his play at the four spot is key to the entire season. Meanwhile, Utah State on the right side. Merrill, the sharpshooter, knocks in his first triple to stretch it back out to a four-point Aggie lead with 13-39 in the first. Yeah, and the Bobcats slow in the zone, rotating to the corner. Merrill is a huge key if you're going to play zone. 
Montana stayed with it, down by four. Hall dribbles it off the foot of a defender, fights for the loose ball, stays on his feet, throws a no-look pass, right corner, Ricketts. He pulls on a three ball, it's an air ball over the top of everything. Rebounded by Keita and the Aggies. Here comes Utah State. Merrill got away with a travel, dribbled it off his foot, and it goes out of bounds. Subs across the board for both sides. We'll set the five for each side in a moment. 13-16 in the first half. Utah State 13, Montana State 9. Out there for the Bobcats, it's Frey, Ricketts, Haruna, Daniels, and Sam Newman in for the first time of his senior season. On the floor for Utah State, Abel Porter checks in for the first time. Joining John Knight the third, Sam Merrill, Nevis Keita, and then a late sub coming in is Ben Fakira. And he actually comes on for Keita. Pretty good pace to this one so far. Brian Fish told us in pregame he wanted it to be an up-and-down game. Well, he got what he wanted. Right now, Montana State got three buckets all from behind the arc. You're having a little bit of trouble with Utah State size getting it inside. Montana State has it down by four. Seven minutes gone by. Ricketts on the far side, guarded tightly by Knight, man-to-man. Frey has it out near the midcourt, driving the shot clock down to nine. Frey, a nice Euro step, a drive. He got fouled on his way up with it. But boy, oh boy, that was a nice take by the junior Frey. That's kind of his signature move, that little drive and a left-handed scoop. Yeah, he gets that Euro step going and gets in there. And, and that was different than last year. Last year, he would have tried to avoid the contact, go around the defender. Here in his junior season, you see him try and create the contact and get himself an opportunity at the line. The Utah State foul was called on Terry on Knight as the first free throw by Harold Frey misses. Frey last season was a 76% free throw shooter. Montana State with one more to come. A left-handed Norwegian knocks it down. First point of the night makes it 13 to 10 in favor of the Aggies. 12:52 in the first. Aggies in the front court. The three-point advantage and now an off-ball foul called on Montana State. They get it on Usman Haruna. Got his hands up on the defender or the offensive player. Got both hands up there. You can go with one, but if you put both up there, it's a foul. Yeah, that's something that the coaches have been working on him in practice. Bad habit of getting handsy defensively, and that gives the official an easy call. Sixth foul on the Bobcats. Utah State will shoot the rest of the way, and now an off-ball foul and illegal screen called on Utah State. Ben Fakira, the native of Sydney, Australia, who just checked in. Big body, super skilled, very smart player, just... Got a little too aggressive on the pick. Yeah, he definitely moved there. Impressive call from the weak side official. 12.39 left in the first half. Bobcats down three with the ball. Daniels has it on the far side wing up top to Frey, who's not been able to get his stroke going yet in his move to playing off ball. And now an off ball foul, an illegal screen called on Montana State's Max Schuicher. And Schuicher there just moved last minute to try and get contact on the defender. I think one of the challenges for Harold Frey against a team like Utah State is he's going to have a 6-5 guy on him because he's playing the two. He's not going to have a point guard size guarding him. Well, it's been a minute or two since we've had any scoring. Gone quiet both sides. Brito for, Mon or for Utah State changes that in the left corner. He catches and shoots. Nice stroke over there for the three ball. 16 to 10, Utah State with his largest lead thus far, 12-10 in the first. Yeah, Utah State attacking the corners. Bobcats a little slow in rotation. Ricketts a shot fake, steps inside the arc, lets loose on an out of control 18 footer. It's off the backboard. Rebounded by Utah State. Miller drives inside, dragged a pivot foot. And we have now gotten into that mode. The first four minutes, it was nice. The second four minutes, it's opening game sloppiness. 11.57 in the first half. We get a timeout. Eleven fifty-seven in the first half. Utah State, after falling down early, has stormed back to take a 16 to 10 lead. Aggies of four of eight from the field. Montana State just three out of 12, three of seven from deep. Yeah, it's 14 to four since that early back-to-back -back threes for Montana State, and I think the Aggie size is causing the Bobcat offense quite a few problems. 
Bobcat basketball is brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Montana. Log on to dairygood.org to learn more. Montana State down six with the ball after the timeout, 11.49 in the first half. Without a two-point bucket thus far, that's some good looks from three that haven't gone down. All at the top, guarded tightly by Brito. Goes down the right lane line on opening night of his senior season. Nice drop-off pass to Newman. He got blocked off the backboard. Fish wanted a goaltend. Didn't get the call. Quarterback the other way for Utah State. Get fouled on his way to the basket. Yeah, I think the block was pretty clean down there. I know Fish is trying to get it, but looked like he was able to get it on its way up. The foul on Harold Frey, his first eighth foul on the Bobcats. More free throws for Utah State. It'll be Abel Porter at the line, a native of Farmington, Utah, who last season didn't play a ton. Eight of 15 at the free throw line for the season. First one in there. When the Aggies making the Bobcats pay seven for seven from the line right now, Montana State has only gotten there twice, one for two, Harold Frey. That's a big difference in this ball game right now. One more coming for Porter. Tough-minded guy, very good defensive player. That, that one rattles in as well. Utah State with its largest lead at eight points at 18 to 10 with 11.32 in the first. Montana State's had a little bit of trouble with the press. It just slowed them down a little bit, not allowed them to get into their half-court set as quickly. Yeah, shortens the shot clock, puts a little more urgency on the offense there. Not able to run as many options. Bobcats without a basket in almost three minutes. Daniels has it at the top over a Kirby screen into the right corner. Gets double team. Nice trapping defense by Utah State. Up to Newman. Now an off-ball foul called in the paint. They get it on Brock or make it on Fakira. That'll be the second on him. Seventh on Utah State and a one-and-one one for the Bobcats. A nice post up by Devin Kirby there off ball. He's really working inside. Kerr just put his hands in his back, moved him out of the way. Kirby redshirted last year after playing as a true freshman. In the exhibition game last week, looked much more comfortable. Got to the line a handful of times, went three of five at the foul line in that one. The big 6'11 fella, first of a one and one, off the back iron. Rebounded by Utah State's Merrill. The top scorer and a junior for the Aggies, returning for this junior season. Gets it for his team, leading 18 to 10 with 10.59 left in the first. Spin dribble into the paint by Knight. The defender Daniels falls down, but then it's taken away. A big rejection in there by Montana State's Devin Kirby. Montana State gets it back, a chance to cut into the eight-point deficit. Frey, a little yo-yo dribble, stops at the right elbow and pangs in a 15-footer. First field goal of Harold Frey's junior season. Cuts into a six-point Utah State lead. That is the first two-point bucket of the night for the Bobcats, and it comes with a 10.35 mark of the first. Utah State up 18 to 12. They go inside a drive and an and one for Kata. Makes it 20 to 12. So they'll score the basket. The Montana State foul is on Devin Kirby, his second. Right now, the Bobcats shooting 4 of 14 from the field, just 29%. Hard to stay with the team if you're going to put them on the free throw line, give them opportunities. Got to make shots stay with it. So Brown at the free throw line after the and one. A transfer from an Oklahoma Junior College. Hits the back into the and one to make it 21 to 12. Extending Utah State's largest lead. Town Pump is excited to be the exclusive sponsor of the Brawl of the Wild between Montana State and Montana. It's all sports all season long. Look for special Brawl of the Wild promotions at your local Town Pump. 21 to 12, Utah State on top, 10-19 in the first half. Bobcats with it in the front court, wearing their home white unis. All with it around his knees, picks it up, throws it up top to Newman, and gets it right back. All dribbles onto the left perimeter where he gets double teamed. Crosses over, one hand pass over to Newman. Fires a three ball on the right wing, it's off the rim, off the glass, and it falls in. Newman gets the shooter's bounce on his first try from distance of his senior season. Makes it a six-point game at 21-15, Aggies with just under 10 minutes left in the half. Good pass fake there to create the opening. Newman takes advantage of defensive laps. And Hall got double teamed. And found the open man. Miller has it for Utah State. Over to Ainge. And Olick pass back to Miller on the right wing. Ainge play pass and catch in a triangle up top. Shot clock down to five. Merrill 25 footer off the mark short. Newman tips it up. Saves it for himself. And Montana State gets it back. Bobcats could make it a one possession game. Hall on the left wing, felt that one. The heat check missed, but Newman, the old board in the keyhole. Over to Frey, a 25 footer off the right side. And it's rebounded by Utah State. 
A couple of good looks for the Bobcats from distance. They just didn't go down. The shooting struggles continue. Meanwhile, the Aggies at the top. Brown misses on a three ball. Off ball foul on Keta, and he picks up his second. It'll be free throws for Montana State, and that might drive the big fella to the bench. Yeah, and that, that's going to put both big fellas on the bench, both bigs for Utah State with two fouls each. Aggies will go back to more of a smaller lineup with four man at the five. It also sends Usman Haruna to the foul line for Montana State. The senior from Kaduna, Nigeria, who transferred to the Bobcats from East Carolina, won an appeal to the NCAA to be eligible to play immediately. Unorthodox free throw shot, but the first one swishes in. So Montana State weathered that early storm. They had fell down by as many as nine. They could cut it down to a four-point lead with, if Haruna makes his second one. And he does. Swished them both. 21-17. Montana State trails Utah State. 9-07 in the first half. Aggies shooting it at a 5 of 12 clip. They have done their damage at the free throw line thus far. In the right corner, Merrill behind a screen. Knocks down a three ball. You give him an open look, and it is going down more often than not. He was seventh in the nation from the three-point line a season ago, and he makes it 24-17. Aggies with 8.47 in the first. Yeah, Merrill with eight, two wide-open threes, not part of what the game plan looked like in shoot-around. Montana State has it. Newman dribbles from right to left across the top. Hall gets it, starts left, goes right. Down the right edge of the paint. Right-handed scoop off the glass. Nice touch. He got knocked to the deck. Didn't get the call, but he gets the bucket to go. Hall is up to five. It's 24-19 Utah State. But quickly they go back, right back inside, attack the interior with Quinn Taylor for a left-handed layup. 26-19 Utah State back up seven. 8-13 in the first. Newman left side, shot fake for Montana State. Over to Daniels, drive, gets knocked to the ground, off his backside, throws a pass to Ricketts, then it's up top to Newman, and then a foul call on Newman coming back the other way after it was stolen by Merrill. Eight oh five left in the first half, Utah State 26, Montana State 19. Team foul number 10 on Montana State, so a couple of free throws here for Merrill and the Aggies. Bobcats a little disjointed offensively there. Utah State's doing a good job of pushing Montana State outside the three-point line. They're playing at 26 feet where they're not going to be effective scoring. Utah State's doing a pretty good job there. So Merrill at the line. And that one is in. Utah State is a perfect 10 of 10 at the free throw line. And they lead Montana State by eight. Free throw line's been the whole difference in this one. Yeah, they're plus plus eight at the free throw line, plus eight on the scoreboard. Lossy Nicker in and back in for Montana State. Russell Daniels comes out for a breather. One more for Merrill. 85% shooter a season to go at the line, and he has a perfect four of four tonight. 28 to 19, Utah State leads Montana State. It is a vastly different style for the Aggies than what we saw last year. Shot threes with reckless abandon here. They've been much more aggressive getting inside, creating free throw opportunities. Yeah, very aggressive. They've only taken, uh, excuse me, nine threes so far here. Montana State has it down by nine. Nick Arrenen on the left baseline. In it goes to Schuicher. He gets his feet a little unstable underneath him. Falls down, gets called for a travel, and we get a timeout. Rent all of your equipment at T&E, the cat rental store. Rent or purchase with confidence. So rent large, rent small, rent it all at T&E, the cat rental store. 7.48 in the first half. Utah State 28, Montana State 19. The Aggies have slowly but surely built up the lead, and they've done it mostly at the free throw line. Yeah, the free throw line's been a key, and then Montana State's turnover. Six turnovers right now leading to 11 Aggie points. Utah State has it out of the timeout, a chance to make it a double-digit lead, but a foul called on Montana State off ball after what looked like a Bobcat steal. And Max Schuicher picks up his second foul in about eight seconds. Yeah, Big Max got a learning curve here as he gets used to Division One basketball. So, Bobcats over the limit. Free throws for Utah State. Quinn Taylor at the line. 
Not a great foul shooter a season ago at 57% of this one. Lee is a short and to the right. Interesting story on Quinn Taylor was diagnosed with a heart condition during the 2016-17 season. He's played through it. He's been a really nice player. A young man who Craig Smith says is an underrated player. Yeah, he's a big key for him now based on how the foul situation has played out early in this game. They're going to need extended minutes from him off the bench. He makes the second foul shot to make it a 29-19 game with 740 left in the first. Bobcats have a little work to do. Dug themselves a hole. Bobcat just 6 of 18. Shooting it thus far, 4 of 10 from deep. Montana State has it. Ricketts on the right wing, guarded tightly by Brito. Up top to the sophomore, Nickerinen, over a Haruna screen. Nickerinen drills in the left corner, and a body foul on Knight, and that's his third. Yeah, not a very smart play by Knight there, just reaching in. And as soon as Lossie felt that pressure, he leaned into it. Easy foul to draw. Team foul number 9 on Utah State, a 1-1 one one for Montana State's Lossie Nickerinen. Sophomore from Helsinki, Finland, played a limited role last year. Didn't get to the foul line a ton, but it was efficient while he was there. Four of five at the stripe as a freshman. First one for the right-handed shooter is in there. 29-20, Montana State trails. Nick Rennan has worked a ton on his game in the offseason. He's matured a bunch, and Coach Fish says he's been in the office a bunch, watching film, learning the sport, doing much better to grow up a little bit. Yeah, he really looks improved here. Still physically not the biggest imposing guy, but really improved his overall feel. Made both free throws, 29-21. Utah State the lead in the ball, 7-12 left in the first. Merrill with 10 early points to lead the way for the Aggies. Drives and throws it up top. It's stolen by Nick Arinen. He loses a grip on it. Now the ball is loose. Montana State comes away with it in the scrum. Ricketts at the top. Throws it right to Blevins. Pulls the trigger on a corner three. It's off the back iron. Haruna skies for the rebound. But they call a foul on whom? Haruna over the back on the rebound. Wow. Second foul on Haruna. And again, the worst play in basketball in my mind. When you're in the bonus, the foul on the offensive end and walk to the other end and let him shoot free throws. So Haruna picks up his second. Two free throws once again for Utah State. And the foul line has been the story for the Aggies. They are 12 of 13 at the line. Taylor with the only miss for the Aggies. It happened on the last Utah State possession. First one is a swish. Interwest Moving and Storage is the official logistics partner of the Montana State Bobcats and the proud driver of the Bobcat Equipment Truck. With this free throw right here, Taylor will take their 14th attempt, and they've only taken 14 field goal attempts so far. Makes them both. Back to a 10-point game. And now the shot clock did not reset after the, may, uh, the made free throw. The Bobcats will have to inbound it again. 6.54 left in the first half. Utah State 31, Montana State 21. Five on the floor for the Bobcats. Haruna, Hall, Ricketts, Nickerinen, and Blevins. Nickerinen into the front court. The sophomore point guard picks up his dribble, goes into the elbow left. And a foul off ball is called on Utah State. Merrill knocked Kelgin Blevins to the floor. It'll be his first team foul 10 on Utah State. Two free throws for Kelgin Blevins. But one thing you notice every time Coach Fish hand signals in an offensive set here, the entire Utah, Utah State bench jumps up, mimics the exact signal, and starts calling out the key element within it. Well prepared are the Aggies. First free throw for Blevins is in. Cut it back to a nine-point game at 31-22. Blevins, a 68% foul shooter a season ago. He's in the best shape of his life. Second free throw missed left. Brito the rebound for Utah State. 6.38 left. Utah State to ball and a nine-point advantage here in Bozeman on opening night. Brito at the top of the circle for the Aggies. Throws at the free throw line right to Merrill, who dribbles off the screen from Taylor. Behind the arc, a standing on the line. They'll say it's a two-point shot that goes down. Merrill leading everybody with 12 first half points. Utah State with its largest lead at 33-22. Hall on the other end gets fouled on three-point try from right in front of the Utah State bench. Porter called for his first foul, so Montana State will get three tries at the free throw line with an ear automatic foul shooter in Tyler Hall. Yeah, the previous possession there, Haruna just didn't step out off the ball screen, and Merrill 
being a smart player, just saw he had space and raised up and knocked it down. All a season ago, led the Big Sky Conference at the foul line at 91%. Bends and fires the first of three, and that's a swish. So Tyler now at that point is 167 away from Larry Cheney's Montana State school record for points in a career. Second one in as well. Down to a nine point Utah State lead at 33 to 24. Harold Frey back in for the Bobcats. Lossie Nickerinen will take a seat. One more to come for Hall. Hall hadn't quite found his rhythm yet. If, again, dealing with a little bit of a tweaked ankle that he suffered in the exhibition game. Third free throw missed and bounced away right. So he makes two of the three. He's got seven total. Montana State trails at 33-24 to Utah State at home. 6.07 in the first half. Aggies in their navy blue unis in the front court. At the top, Brown fires an 18-footer in the keyhole. Missed it short. Rebounded by Haruna and the Bobcats. Montana State wants to run to get a little something going offensively. Cats shooting just 31% thus far. Nice pass. Frey threads the needle into Haruna. Gets fouled and won. Great look. They point at each other and a big smile on their face. The foul on Quinn Taylor, his second. Count the bucket and one for Haruna. He is up to four and is 33-26 now in favor of the Aggies. Really, really threading the needle there. Harold Frey slips that thing in. Haruna with a great catch. One bounce dribble and a finish. 5.49 in the first half. Cats down seven. Haruna at the foul line for the and one. And it's in there. He's a perfect three of three at the line. 33-27 Montana State on a little 5 nothing mini run here. Tighten it up to a six-point game. Five and a half left before the break. Utah State with it. Catch and shoot three for Merrill. He had a good look. Ricketts didn't get out there on him, and it goes in. Every time Utah State needs a bucket, they find Merrill for a three off a of set action. Merrill's up to 15 first half points. He's leading the way. Utah State up 36 to 27 with 521 to go. Montana State with it. Frey guarded on the near side wing by Porter. Chucks up a three ball. Maybe a little ill-advised, and it's a little too strong. Rebounded by Merrill. He gets it in the front court for Utah State. Goes all the way to the rim by himself. Misses the runner. Begs for a foul that never comes. And Montana State gets the board with Blevins. Levins up the right side, in to the paint. He gets it stripped by Brito. Utah State with a transition try, a two-on-one. Brito to Merrill, layup in. Brian Fish takes a timeout. Sam Merrill with 17 first-half points. Utah State, after the Bobcats on a 5-0 run, go on a 5-0 spurt of their own to get it back out to an 11-point Aggie lead at 38-27 with 4.54 in the half. Well, you line up 20 guys to play pickup, and you pick teams. Merrill is the last guy picked. He, get, he doesn't have the look, but he's got great game, fundamentals, footwork, finishes, shoots it, great feel overall. Really nice player. You can see why he was in a third-team All-Mountain West Conference selection a year ago. Joint Champs Brand New Kids Club presented by Billings Clinic and Acorn Pediatrics. Your $25 membership fee. Get your game tickets, Bobcat gear, and more. Sign up today at msubobcats.com slash kids club. Utah State 38, Montana State 27, 4.54 remains in the first half. Bobcats just 7 of 21 from the field. Utah State, after a slow start, has turned it on. They are over 50% at 10 of 19. And the Bobcats put that little 5-0 spurt. Utah State answers with the 5-0 spurt of their own. And now Harold Frey from Montana State after the timeout, a drive, draws a foul on Abel Porter. His third, an armbar foul. Utah State's getting after Montana State a little bit, but they are getting some key players into foul trouble. Yeah, their fouls have seemed to bunch together. Guys getting two and three where Montana State's are spread out. So it's over the limit double bonus for Montana State. Harold Frey, the left-hander, puts the first one in. Montana State under Brian Fish, historically a pretty decent field uh, free throw shooting team. 73% as a team last year. One more to come for Frey, the honorable mention, all Big Sky selection. Hit about three quarters of his foul shots a season ago. He's a perfect three of three tonight. 38-29, Utah State's lead down to single digits with 4.39 in the half. 
Merrill, another good look in front of the Montana State bench for the Aggies. Crosses over, steps to his left, fires a three over Haruna, in and out, but on the putback, a jam by Dwayne Brown Jr. He was right there at the right spot. Makes it 40 to 29 after the slam on the finish. Montana State down 11 once more, 419 in the first. Cats with it in the front court. Blevins, a pass on the right wing and an offensive foul called. An illegal screen called on Layden Ricketts. Saw a few illegal screens on last Tuesday night in the exhibition game. and Still a bit of an issue for the Cats tonight. And a point of emphasis for officials, so their eyes are looking for it to make sure guys are set and given room for reaction. So Utah State could add to its lead of 11, which is its largest of the night. They lead it 40 to 29 with 4.05 in the first. Brown just jammed it in a minute ago. Goes on a nice drive. Hook shot and missed. Off the left side. Rebounded by Haruna and Montana State. Daniels pushes it for the Bobcats. Then he backs it off as he gets to the top of the key. Left-handed dribble. Backs away. Pivots on the left. Goes it to Ricketts on the right wing. Is guarded by Brito. Cats play pass and catch around the three-point arc. And now Frey comes out to the jump circle. He attacks. Euro step. Left-handed scoop. It was blocked by Merrill. It goes out of bounds. It stays with the Bobcats. And we get a timeout. 339 in the first. from the field at Utah State 11 of 22. Free throw totals have evened out a little bit. Utah State plus three at the foul line now after a big early advantage. Where has Utah State had their greatest edge over Montana State? I think a lot of it's just been forcing turnovers. They've been pretty active on the defensive end, closing driving lanes, getting hands on passes. Bobcats a couple maybe careless turnovers, but those eight turnovers now are leading 12 points and some of those free throws are coming from that as well. Nine on the shot clock for Montana State after the timeout. Down 11, three and a half to go in the first. Harold Frey, a three on the right wing. A little contested shot and missed. Merrill topples to the ground on top of Frey and nothing called. Utah State gets it on the glass. Merrill a drive and his shot is rejected. A big boy block by Haruna. Merrill gets chucked to the ground and nothing called. Montana State gets it back. Frey a touch pass. Left corner Daniels. He fires a way high three ball. That ball is bringing down some rain. And he missed it. Utah State the board at the other end. Brown goes up off the glass. And that one is called a goaltend. And so score the basket by Brown. Boy, that was pretty close there. Haruna almost got back-to-back -back blocks on, on both ends. Montana State with a couple of blocks here already. Brian Fish arguing that was the same call that was missed on the goaltend at the other end for the Bobcats earlier in the game. Meanwhile, the Bobcats down 42 to 29, their largest deficit. Now a foul off ball. They call it on John Knight, the third, his first two free throws here for Montana State. 257 left in the first half. Bobcats down 42 to 29. Russell Daniels at the foul line, who did not get a free throw attempt in the exhibition game in his Bobcat debut. That one. Bangs hard off the backboard, no good. Yeah, and I think one of the things that both Layden Ricketts and Russell Daniels are adjusting to is the pace, speed, and physicality of Division One basketball. Not like that in junior college. That's going to take some time to make that adjustment. And Fish has talked about that a bunch in his time here at Montana State. There's a learning curve for those JC guys. Daniels makes the second foul shot to cut it to a 12-point Utah State lead. 40 to 30, 42 to 30. The Aggies have it. 2:45 left in the first half. In the front court of their blue unis, there's a drive, a layup missed by Knight, but the tip-in goes in by Fakira. First bucket for Fakira on the putback, 44-30, Utah State in front, 229 before the break. And now Montana State drives on the right side, Blevins had it, Brown got up into him. Brown's first foul, and we have hit a very slow, molasses-like pace with all the free throws that are being shot. Yeah, a lot of fouls in this game. 27 called here in the first 17 and a half minutes, even 14-13, but boy, a lot of whistles early. Blevins' first free throw is through. 44-31, Utah State's lead. That was the 34th 
and now 35th free throw of the night. Blevins knocks that one down. Let's quickly pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Montana State Basketball from Learfield. While we were in the break for the legal ID, Utah State just playing pass and catch on the perimeter, fumbled it away sloppily. That's their seventh turnover of the night, eight for Montana State. The difference, Utah State's capitalized on the turnovers with points. Bobcats have yet to do so. Montana State down 12. A 2.05 left, has the ball back. Right at the top, guarded by Bean, who just subbed in. Justin Bean, the native of Moore, Oklahoma. Now Frey drives in, I knocked it to the stanchion made it anyway Bobcats down by 10 44 34 a minute 49 left Merrill has it over the top of a Fakira screen tries to get to his right throws it back to Bean at the 15 foot line missed it Fakira tip try miss gets his own miss again puts it up another miss and now a foul called on the rebound they call a foul on Kelgen Blevins for a shove in that scrum on the rebound. Boy, there wasn't a lot there. It's a second foul on Kelgen Blevins. Two free throws for Justin Bean in Utah State. Boy, the one thing you saw right there with Utah State, they got three active on the offensive glass. Montana State's going to have to get everyone involved to secure that defensive rebound. First free throw by Justin Bean is in there. Redshirt freshman from Moore, Oklahoma. His father, Gordon, played basketball at Idaho State. And was part of the Bengals' 1987 NCAA tournament team. Second free throw is in there as well. 46-34, Utah State out in front. A minute 37 left in the first half. Montana State has it in the front court with Russell Daniels. The Juco transfer, native of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Over to Frey. Picks up his dribble, throws it back to Daniels. Looks left, a pump fake and a pass to Blevins. He drives in a drop off and now an offensive foul. Got off his feet and threw the pass. It's his third foul. That's an easy call for the officials as he was a little out of control on the pass. Yeah, that's an unfortunate foul because that puts Montana State with a starter. Three fouls on the bench, a minute 20 to go here in the first half. So Utah State can add to its lead of 46 to 34. They have led by as many as 14 tonight. They have kept the Bobcats pretty well at bay after an early good start for the Montana State. Bean to Merrill at the free throw line. 15-footer swish. 19 in the first half for Sam Merrill. As the Aggies in front, excuse me, in front, 48 to 34. Just a shade under a minute left before halftime. Montana State will need the break to make some adjustments. Spray at the top over a Haruna screen. They drop it off into Haruna, who gets fouled as he catches it in the middle of the paint. So free throws once again for Montana State. The foul on Utah State called on Justin Bean, his first. Boy, and give Merrill some credit. You know, he's got 19 points, but he's also spent the entire defensive night either guarding Harold Frey or Tyler Hall. He has not spent any time guarding anyone but one of the two Bobcat key contributors. Aruna at the foul line for a pair for the Bobcats. First one, in and out. Aruna, we told you, transfer from East Carolina. He's a native of Nigeria. Didn't get to Bozeman until late July, early August. Fish said he's about a month behind because he didn't go through the summer workouts with everybody else, but you can see the potential he has. Yeah, he absolutely changes the game. He's already got a block here tonight and several rebounds. Missed both free throws. Rebounded by Utah State's Bean. So the Aggies with their largest lead of the night at 48 to 34 and 40 seconds left before halftime can add to their advantage. Utah State has it out near midcourt. John Knight III, the native of Jackson, Mississippi. He also a Juco transfer, has it. Gives it to Brito. Eight on the shot clock in the keyhole. Merrill fadeaway 15-footer, you bet. 21 in the first half, an impressive performance for Sam Merrill. 50 to 34, the Aggies lead it with 16 seconds in the first half. Boy, and how easy does it look when he does that little step back, gives himself some clearance raises up and knock it in. Eight seconds for Montana State. Frey zigzags to the left elbow, puts up a 15-footer, missed it, tip tried by Haruna off the mark, being the rebound. Brito gets it. Half-court heave at the buzzer is off the mark, and it's short as well. And so we head to halftime. An impressive first half for the Utah State Aggies. They've come to Worthington Arena, and they lead the Bobcats at halftime, 50-34. to 34. Big Sky Steel is a Montana owned 